Hey my dazzlers, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about my top five lip balms. This was a long pending video. It took me so long to do this video because I wanted to try out different kinds of lip balms and wanted to recommend the best five to you guys. And so many of you wanted me to do this video, so here it is. So I love lip balms and lingeries and these are my favorites and I keep buying them. I tried a lot of lip balms and I zeroed down to these five. You know how much I love trying out Indian skincare brands because Indian skincare brands are so good, especially if they are vegan and cruelty free. So all the lip balms that I'm going to show you today, they are vegan and cruelty free. So let's get right into it. The first lip balm that I'm going to show you is also my favorite. This is the Biotic Bio Morning Nectar. I love Biotic products till date. The products that I've used from this brand never failed me. I love thick lip balms, especially because I have dry lips and I always have lip balm on my lips. Like always. This one is pretty thick and it stays on for a long time if I don't eat anything. So if I don't eat anything, this one is going to stay on me for around three hours. It is transparent, it's flavorless and it smells beautiful. It's got a very strong smell and it smells of flowers. So it's got a very flowery smell to it and I love the packaging. It comes in a cute little tub which is easy to access and is fuss free. It keeps my lips soft and hydrated for a very long time and this one is cruelty free. This one has 12 grams of product in it and it is priced at rupees 175. Next one is this one from Eba. It is their moisture rich lip balm. It's in the strawberry flavor. This one is PETA certified, cruelty free, vegan, and halal certified. It is free of preservatives, mineral oil, petroleum jelly, sulfate, parabens. It is a stick lip balm which means that I don't have to dig my fingers in it and it's great if I'm going out. It has shea butter, cocoa butter, almond oil, coconut oil and sweet almond oil. The packaging could have been better. The packaging however could have been better. I mean when I open it, twist the product up, it doesn't it's not that smooth. It's got the slightest hint of pink to it. The texture is not as thick as the biotic one. It keeps my lips soft and hydrated for a good two hours and it smells of berry obviously because it's a strawberry lip balm. This one has 4.5 grams of product in it and it's priced at 150 rupees. Next is the Bon Organics Lemon Lip Balm. Oh my god, can we take a moment for the packaging? I'll give 10 out of 10 for packaging and it's even got a mirror. I haven't seen a lip balm more pretty than this one. The packaging is very very sturdy and looks very chic. Like it's heavy for a lip balm but it's very good to carry in your pocket because it's flat. Though it is in the lemon flavor but it smells nothing of lemon. It's got a very sweet smell to it which is like which is very overpowering. It's definitely more fruity and oh my god I can keep smelling it the entire day. I think I'm addicted to this. The texture is medium to thick. Um, it's very easy to reapply it. It's very buildable unlike other lip balms which when you reapply it can feel really heavy on your lips. It does not feel heavy at all. In fact, it's quite light on my lips. I just have to reapply it a couple of times because I like my lip balms to be really, really thick. It stays on my lips for a good three to four hours if I don't eat anything. It keeps my lips soft and hydrated. It is yellow in color in the tub, but when you apply it, it's colorless. It is 100% handmade and organic and it is manufactured in a plastic unit. It protects the lips from sun's UV rays and it does not have palm oil or harmful chemicals like parabens or sulfates. This one's cruelty free, it's vegan and comes in an eco-friendly packaging. It's got 8 grams of product in it and it's priced at 445 rupees. Next is this Rustic Art Natural and Organic Calendula Lip Moisturizer. I love how they call it a lip moisturizer and not a lip balm. I love the packaging because it comes in a cute little tin packaging which somehow reminds me of my childhood days because it's a little oldie vintage types which I which I just love. Although I find it a little difficult to open the product once I closed it and I couldn't reopen it. Probably my fault because I didn't close it the way it was supposed to be closed. When you open the tub and smell it, it smells very organic. It's got a very serious kind of smell like we have always used lip balms which are very fruity and flowery but this one smells more serious like if those were for kids then this one is for adults 
I don't know if I'm making sense. But on the packaging, it's mentioned that this one is for babies and kids. This one is colorless, but it's very thick. You need to warm the product, move your fingers around it a couple of times and then apply it. However, it feels a little weird if you reapply it and it stays on my lips for for about two to three hours. It is a 100% natural lip balm and it's supposed to be very gentle on your lips because it's for babies and kids. This is natural, vegan, biodegradable and organic. It has natural ingredients like calendula extract. It is free from harmful toxins, chemicals and artificial elements. So the name is perfect. It is actually rustic. And it is amazing that it is environment friendly and nature sensitive. It has nine grams of product in it and is priced at 300 rupees. The last one is the Blissent Lip Butter in the Raspberry flavor. I am a big fan of strawberry raspberry rose flavors. The packaging is quite okay. It is nothing unusual, nothing out of the box. It's just the usual we see the see-through um, tubs. This one is easy to open and it's fuss-free and this one has got a strong bubblegum smell to it. Although this one's got a very corally pink color in the tub but when you apply it it's almost colorless or the slightest hint of pink. If I compare this one and the Eba one, this one is less pink than the Eba one. It feels very smooth on the lips and keeps my lips hydrated and soft. It glides on my lips very smoothly and it stays on my lips for about two and a half, three hours. To be very honest, I don't quite like the smell of it. It's very strong and the smell also does not last for a very long time. It is SLS and paraben free and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's free from chemicals and preservatives and it's made with skin loving oils and butters. This one has five grams of product in it and it's priced at 200 rupees. I want to show you another one. This one is from Juicy Chemistry. This one is Tuscany Lemon and Green Tea. Now, I have used it completely. It's completely, completely gone. When I tried to order it, it was not available and I don't think it's ever available. Whenever I check online, I don't see this to be available at all. So I was like thinking if I should include this or not. But this is such a lovely product. I love this lip balm. This one is very, very hydrating. It keeps my lips soft and it just glides so smoothly on my lips. It's got a very peppermint smell to it. Like a very tea smell to it. So since this one's not available almost all the time, so I was thinking about to include it or not, but you guys can go online and check for Juicy Chemistry. This one is Tuscany Lemon and Green Tea. Now I wanted to show one more product which I am just addicted to these days. This one is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Every night before I go off to sleep, I use this sleeping mask on my lips and believe me, my lips stay hydrated throughout the night. Obviously, I could not include this in my top five lip balms because this one is not Indian and this one is also not a lip balm, it's a sleeping mask. But it's so amazing, I had to tell you guys about it. If you want to know my top three lip balms, then it's got to be the Biotic one, the Bon Organics and the Juicy Chemistry one. Now, if we don't include this because it's almost not available all the time. Then it's got to be the Rustic Art one. So guys, these were my top five lip balms. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then don't forget to like, share and comment down below your favorite lip balms. I would love to try them out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon and I'm going to see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle.